part 5 so here's the expression that we use x is the matrix of coordinates and each row of x when transposed gives this vector xi each lambda and v is an eigenpair of L and vki is the element in row i of eigenvector vk. The xi is an m by 1 coordinate vector of vertex i. Since these two expressions are significant, let's highlight them. Now, this is what dimension reduction means. We are given a set of vertices V and Z, which is a coordinate matrix in higher dimensions D. And we are not given any weights. The objective is to find an n-dimensional coordinate matrix X of vertices in V so that relative distances between vertices, which I shall be calling as points, are preserved after dimension reduction. So this is what happens. We have D dimensions uh, in the original data and then we reduce it to m dimensions which is low compared to d in such a manner that when the distance between vertices i and j are low in high dimensions then they are also low in low dimension what are the uses uh, data visualization is an important application of dimension reduction with m equals 2 and 3. The higher dimension d of the original data can be as high as possible, hundreds, even higher. So this is how the matrix z looks like. Each row of z is a zi transposed, where zi is the coordinate of the vertex i in v. So this is how we compute the weight matrix. It must be symmetric and Wij is given by this expression. It's equal to e to the negative 1 over sigma times this norm squared, where sigma is a predefined constant. Now, noting that the norm uh, of the difference between zi minus zj is the distance between the vertex uh, i and the vertex j, we can see that wij is higher when zi and zj are closer. This is uh, the Gaussian similarity measure, this expression here, and uh, it'll be our default. Let's highlight it. Now, for text data, we have another expression. Uh, Wij here is uh, the inner product between zi and zj divided by their norms. This is called the cosine measure of similarity. It's used in text and uh, URL data. Note that in both cases, the closer i and j are, the higher are the weights w, i, j. Optionally, we can define a neighborhood around each vertex or point i. In this context, the terms vertex and point mean the same thing. So the neighborhood of the point i is the set of 
other points within a radius rho. For points that follow highly non-uniform distribution, heuristics can be used to determine neighborhoods. It is important to preserve this symmetric relationship to guarantee a symmetric weight matrix. The weights Wij must now incorporate neighborhoods. If i and j are neighboring points, then Wij is the similarity between them. Otherwise, Wij is zero. Incorporating neighborhoods in this manner makes the weight matrix sparse, which reduces the computational overhead. This in turn helps in dealing with large data sets. So these are the steps to obtain the weight matrix W. When a sparse weight matrix is desired, we have to incorporate the neighborhoods. Now, this is the dimension reduction algorithm. We are given the data Z, and then the objective is to find m-dimensional coordinates x of vertices in V, which is d to m-dimension reduction, so that the distances between vertices or points in reduced dimensions are preserved. Step one, we obtain W, the weight matrix. Then we compute the Laplacian L from the weights, perform spectral decomposition on L, and then we obtain the m-dimensional embedding using the expression shown. In this example, the human figure consists of voxels, which are three-dimensional points. The figure shows the one-dimensional embedding obtained from the Fiedler vector V2. Colors indicate the correspondence between the three-dimensional voxels in the uh, human figure and their one-dimensional embeddings. This is how one-dimensional embeddings obtained using the next two eigenvectors V3 and V4 look like. This is how a straight line segment in three dimensions get embedded in two dimensions. It must be noted that the embedding is U-shaped. This is because V2 and V3 are orthogonal. An embedding that is also a straight line segment is not possible as V2 are, and V3 are not correlated. This is another example of two-dimensional embedding of three-dimensional points. Yet another example. 